Hello there, I'm going to show you how to verify our PayPal account right away. So first of all guys, if you don't have an account or if you want to create your account and verify that, let's just do it right away. I'm going to leave a link down below in the description so you can set up your account and you can actually get a few rewards just by signing up with the link provided down below in the description. So first of all, what you will do is go into those links and hit into and go to create your account. In my case, it's going to be asking me to sign up for PayPal. Add a mobile number in order to continue. So if this is not the country you're currently living in, you can change that. Let's say, for example, you live in the United States, so you will put in United States. It's going to be the country code of your mobile number. After I do that, I will just confirm that I am not a robot, which is pretty annoying, but Then I just need to paste in my mobile number and click next. Once I have an account already created, what I will do is add an email. In my case, it just won't let me because I already have an account. So I'm just going to be closing this for a second and I'm going to go back into my account. You'll be seeing something like this. Now that we have a PayPal account that you want to verify, let's get into it. This is not like a verification process into your PayPal, but this is actually a specific verification. We're talking about adding balances, currencies, bank cards, and credit and debit cards. If you go into the pay and get paid section, you will go into the wallet and inside your wallet, you will locate your balance and your bank card. If you don't see the dashboard that I'm seeing at the moment, it's because your account might be in the battle. Now, if you want to sell today, you will change from any bill into business. You will go into the profile settings. And once you are in here, you will locate, you will look for, once you're in here, you will scroll all the way down into the account type and you can change from entry built into business using the same account. So you don't have to be worrying about that. Now we have the option to link bank and balance cards. What I will do is find the bank account option. Now if I choose, for example, this bank that appears right away, as you can see, I don't need to verify any kind of information. But if I do hit into the card section and link a new card, what's going to happen is it's going to be asking me for a credit card number, whether that will be for a debit or a credit card, the card type the expiration date, the security code, and of course the billing address. Once I click into a link a card, it's going to appear at the very bottom part of our wallet, which as you can see, I have two cards already added in here. If I want to delete one of those, I just need to click into one credit card and then I'm going to choose remove card. So what's going to happen? It's going to be asking me, are you sure you want to delete this account, this credit card? Any printing payments on this card will be processed even after you remove it. So I'm going to choose remove this card. So your new card has been removed. All right, good, because I no longer have a card. So if you want to add a new card, you can choose this. You can choose this option. And once again, it's going to ask you for a debit card, expiration date, security code, and all that. But the important part is that we want to verify this because as you can see, I have this credit card, right? But if I click here, there's a notification that says, want to use your PayPal account minimum spending limit or withdrawal limit, confirm your card. This is just poor verification for security reasons. So it's going to be really easy there. But it's not going to be an issue. Once I confirmed my card, what I will do is go to into confirm your card. And what's going to happen is they're going to be sending us a small charge on the card. After you request a code, we'll be charged a maximum of 20 something. So that would be just like $1 onto my card. This appears within four to six business days after you confirm it. Then we will get refunded the amount within 24 hours. So they're making this charge only for verification processes. So if you go into the statement of your credit card or your sample card, let's say there's been a credit charge for PayPal and it's going to be appearing like this. 
PayPal, this number, the code, and the amount that was charged for the credit card. So you will provide these numbers. I say code and you want to choose send a code. In my case, I haven't done that yet. I just need to choose get a code. And now it should appear in your card savings within four to six business days. If I hit enter, done. The last thing that I just need to do is to check my card statement code just to see if I already have a charge from PayPal. Once I have that from PayPal, I can see what's the secret code that appears into my bank statement here. Into the update card, enter the code to confirm the card, which is actually this option. And once you choose this option, you have to provide the four digit code and go to into confirm. And it should be just as simple as that. If there's a week that has been already passed since this day that you graded a confirmation of your card and you haven't received the code from your bank statement, you want to check into all your data after you review all your data, this is the actual right information. You want to click into enter the code to confirm the card and look for the get a new code. So once again, the code was sent from our credit card. My case is only Visa. My card is Visa. As you can see, it was really simple to add a credit card. It's really important to verify your card, all your stuff if you want to receive money. If you want to still use PayPal, because sometimes it appears like PayPal has these different rules that if you don't do, as they say, they might be just deleting your account because PayPal sometimes take the security really seriously. So you don't want to miss that. You want to just have everything corrected with no issues here. Lastly, if you go into your balance and you have a few balances, you want to transfer that money into your the credit cards that you have already added. You don't have to be worrying about that because the balance is going to be ascended right away into your account, into the actual PayPal account that you currently have, which is actually, in my case, this one. I don't have to be worrying about any kind of holding, holdings of my money and all that now. Actually, I've just checked that I do have the charge from my bank account, so I'm going to be doing this right away. So you can see what's going to happen next. I will go into my wallet, into my bank, and into my bank and cards. And once you're here, once you locate, confirm the code. And here I am going to go in to enter the code to confirm the code. And I need to provide a four digit code. And here is my Visa credit card has been confirmed. I need to go in and we are actually good to go. I can choose to set it as preferred if I want to get charged from all of my charges from paying online using this credit card. And in my case, I just won't do this right away because I want to be charged with my money that I do have into PayPal. So this has been set up correctly. So now we have set this up perfectly. Now I can just exit here and we are good to go. So hopefully this was a pretty useful video for you. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more about this PayPal setting tool. Thank you so much for watching this video once again and I will see you again next time. Good luck!